In this episode of the Midnight Quilt Show, we're keeping it mod with the Mod Triangles quilt pattern. Last time, I didn't do any machine quilting because I participated in a bag challenge with Crafty Gemini, so that's why I have a free bonus video all about machine quilting geometric dot-to-dot -dot designs. Let's get to it. So this quilt pattern is designed by Cloth Parcel, and I love how basic it is to go together. Just some triangles stacked up in rows, it's gonna be fantastic, but the color selection I think is so fresh and fun. So I have my blues, a little hint of pink, of course some grays, a pop of this bluish, navyish black, and then that nice sherbet. I think this is gonna be a fun, modern quilt that's nice and basic, so let's get to cutting. So I'm gonna start with my fat quarters and I'm gonna cut a strip out of each of them. And I'm gonna stack them on top of each other to make it go just a little bit quicker. Now when I say this is a basic quilt, I mean that it's simple to put together, which means that's gonna give me a lot of fun space to play with the machine quilting. And I'm so excited for the bonus video, I think you're gonna love it. But you better be sure to subscribe to the channel because you never know what goodies you'll miss on the Midnight Quilt Show. All these beautifully colored strips are gonna be cut into triangles. Now, here's where I need you to stay with me. Don't run off. We're gonna use a template. It's okay. A template is just gonna help us make sure that we have everything the way it's supposed to be. So I have my template printed out, and I'm gonna cut triangles out of this strip. And I'm actually gonna slide it over and go ahead and make my first cut over here, just to kind of trim it up. And I can save that for a fun project down the road and then I will turn it around and cut my next triangle this way. And I'm just using that template to kind of make sure I have it and then just lining up my ruler directly over the top of it, trying not to cut the template for the most part. And there I have some of my fun triangles. So I'm gonna cut a few more out of this color. If I were more adventurous, I might stack my strips on top of each other, but since it's not gonna take me too long to cut this out, I'm gonna do them one at a time. What I don't want to have happen is one of the fabric slips, maybe it's not quite the right size. I mean, of course, not that I'm super worried about that, but I'm just gonna keep it nice and easy for right now. Of course, if you had a triangle ruler, that would work, and I know I have one somewhere, but I'm pretty sure one of my kids hauled off with it and used it for some art project or another. So the top is notched. That means that little point has been cut off and that's gonna make my seams not bulky at all. But these points aren't. And I'm gonna take just a few moments and go ahead and chop off those points. And that's gonna make the machine quilting that I do later on so much easier because I won't have all that bulk in the seams. Now I could use my ruler and kind of find where that is, but I have a handy little tool that's gonna help me do that. This is a 60 degree corner trimmer. And if I line it up right there along the edge, then I can trim my little point off. So now I have my triangle with all those points cut off. And this time, I probably would go ahead and stack a couple on top because, hey, as long as it's close, it'll be fine. And this actually works on triangles of all sizes. It just kind of goes right into the corner, allows you to line it up, and then just trim it right off. I'm gonna finish cutting out all my triangles and off those little points, and then we're gonna lay it out into our rows and sew them together. Now I have all my triangles, we're gonna sew them together. And if you've sewn triangles before, you know they can be sometimes a little tricky. Don't worry, I'm gonna show you how easy it is. I'm gonna take both my triangles, put them next to each other, going opposite directions. And since my points are already notched, when I fold it over, they're gonna fit so nicely together. I don't have to worry about you know, whether it should extend past or what it looks like. I can just put it right there and sew a quarter inch along that seam. And there are the first two of my triangles. I'm gonna give it a quick press to make sure it's nice and flat. I'm gonna add my third triangle to it, like so. Fold it over, and then do the same, sewing that quarter inch seam along that side. Now what I love about this pattern is it comes with such beautiful colors, but you're gonna decide what you wanna place where. And I can't wait for the bonus video when I can start showing you how I join these triangles together to make bigger, more complex shapes. But I'm kinda of getting ahead of myself. I gotta finish the row first. And here's what I love about easy to piece quilts. My first row is already finished and I am digging the pops of color here. I'm not normally an orange fabric kind of girl or even a black grayish kind of color, but man, they look great together. In fact, I love them so much, I've already got my second row together. And there is my second row. Now, right off the bat, you're probably noticing that my corners 
are looking a little weird, don't worry, we're gonna trim those off later. But I love how they're random color placement, so I'm gonna sew them together, and I'm gonna add the rest of the quilt, and then borders. All right, the center of my quilt is finished. So I'm gonna trim off these edges by trimming about a quarter of an inch from these points so I have a nice straight edge to add the borders. I love to cut from this side because my ruler is protecting my beautiful quilt top. If I make an error with my rotary cutter, it'll go off here into the great unknown and that's fine. I just wanna protect those pieces. This quilt top is finished. That means it's time for the machine quilting, my favorite part. So I've already done a little bit of dot-to-dot -dot quilting on this quilt. And if you wanna see how I quilted this and why I picked this actual block, you can check out a free bonus video we have for you. You'll find that information in the description box below. But now that I have my more complex design, I'm gonna quilt it to death with wavy lines to really squish down that background area and make this pop. So starting from the edge of my grouping of blocks, I'm quilting a wavy line that goes all the way to the edge of the quilt. Then I'm gonna travel along and quilt another wavy line. But at a random point, I'm gonna stop, change direction, and run into the line I just quilted. Once I get to that point, I'm gonna go right back into my echo until I wanna run into that line again. So I'm going back and forth, quilting these points. When I get to the edge of the block, I'm gonna travel again and just repeat to give me a beautiful texture that's really gonna look great next to that geometric dot-to-dot -dot quilting. Well, I got a lot of quilting to do. I'll see you when I'm finished. Now what I love about this technique is that no two quilts have to look the same. You can use different designs, or if you don't want to quilt it to death like I did, you can just space your lines out further apart. And it just so happens I have a great class on Craftsy called Help, How Do I Quilt It? where I help you pick designs for several different types of quilts. So be sure to check that out, as well as resources to get you started in machine quilting below. And this quilt is finished. It's kind of like the trifecta of awesome cool colors, a modern vibe, and a lot of fun quilting. I had a great time grouping the blocks together with geometric designs, then quickly filling in the rest with a wavy line design. It didn't hurt that it was so easy to piece and that it looks fantastic now that it's done. And don't forget to check out that free bonus video we have for you. You'll see why I picked the designs that I did. And you wanna go ahead and subscribe because you just never know what's gonna happen on the Midnight Quilt Show. Well, here's to quiet nights and happy quilting.